New at 9, a Milwaukee man is dead after police say the car he was riding in was hit by someone officers were trying to pull over. It happened on the city's north side. Our Durante Matthews joins us with how this crash is opening up old wounds for this victim's family. It sure is, Sam. That crash happened last night on 27th and Locust when a man speeding from police crashed into a van that flipped over and hit another vehicle. Tonight, the victim's family says they're stunned not only from losing a loved one, but because this mirrors another traumatic crash 20 years ago. It's a nightmare. And yet, it's reality for Ivorina Taylor. It's just hard. His, his kids are suffering. His grandparents, um, parents. She's trying to process the loss of her younger cousin, 41-year-old Demond Harris. He had a beautiful smile. I could still hear his voice. I could still hear his laugh. The father of four with one granddaughter was killed Friday night in this crash on 27th and Locust. Milwaukee police say they tried to stop a 25-year-old man who was driving a vehicle with a stolen plate. The suspect ran a red light and crashed into a van that flipped over and hit another vehicle. Demond was a passenger in that van. Several others were injured. Officers have not said if this was a police chase, but neighbors tell Fox 6 they heard sirens before the crash happened. It's just, um, I wouldn't wish this on nobody. Taylor says the family is now living through a devastating deja vu. She says a wrong way driver killed Demond's sister and other family members in a crash 20 years ago in Illinois. Years later, you find out that this happened to you again. And you're back in the same spot. But no one has any regard for human life. They don't have any regard for the safety of children, elderly adults. They just have no regard for life at all. Police did catch the 25 year old suspect after he ran away from Friday night's crash. Taylor says they're praying for a conviction that sticks. I don't really know if any of us will be able to handle this person walking away free. Now, police say charges for the suspect are pending review by the district attorney's office. The Harris family is planning a balloon release for Demond at 2 o'clock p.m. tomorrow at the crash site.